Hello guys, this is Shwebya Poop. In today's session, we will discuss how to calculate project specific cost of capital. Before starting with the steps of project specific cost of capital, let's revise the assumptions of it leveraged cost of capital. Existing VAC can only be used as a cost of capital for new investment appraisal project if following conditions are fulfilled. What is it? Let's suppose you are going to appraise a new investment appraisal project. You can use the existing VAC, but if following conditions are met. If any of the following conditions does not met, you cannot use the existing VAC. And what are those conditions? First, the nature of the business, the nature of the new project should be similar to the existing nature of the business. The business risk of the new project should be similar to the existing business risk of the project. The gearing of the new project should be exactly same like the previous gearing of the business. Like if the previous gearing is 50%, you should finance your new project with a 50% gearing, like 50% debt and 50% equity. Then let's suppose you need 5 million, 2.5 million should be raised from the equity and 2.5 million raised from the debt. Size of the new project should be smaller or comparable with the existing size of the business. You cannot use the existing bag in order to compare, in order to appraise that the project which has a double size compared to the existing project. Required return of investors should remain constant. So the main assumptions are these two. If the new project nature is different, if the new project gearing is different, you cannot use the existing VAC. But if both are same, you can use the existing VAC. Okay, what about the project specific cost of capital? In project specific cost of capital, Financial risk is same, but business risk is different. For example, there is a new project that has a different nature of business, but gearing is same. Like your current business, your current company is doing the textile business, clothing business. But your new venture, new project is in cement business. So the nature of business is different. But you are using the same gearing, like same 50% old gearing, you can use the project specific cost of capital. Okay, what are the steps involved in project specific cost of capital? First step is to identify the similar range of companies which are currently operating in the cement industry because we need the cement beta. Why would we need the cement beta? Because in VAC formula, normally we use this is the VAC formula. If gearing is same, that means this structure will remain constant. Hopefully KD will remain also constant. What is the formula of cost of equity risk free rate plus beta equity into RM minus RF. You are changing the nature of the business. There will be no impact on the risk free rate of the government on the return of the whole stock market. But there is a difference. Beta equity includes business risk and financial risk. If financial risk is same, so the whole impact in the total VAC formula is on business risk. Previously, business risk was of textile. Now, it should be the cement business risk. So, we need the business risk of the cement. So, we need the beta of cement. So, first step is to identify a suitable proxy company or companies having the same level of operation. So we will search in the market the similar range of companies which are operating in the cement. Let, let's suppose we find three companies. We have find three proxy companies. So what will be the second step? In second step, we will ungear the beta equity of these proxy companies. Why should we ungear? Because whenever beta will be given, it will be beta equity. We do not need beta equity of proxy company because beta equity includes the business risk as well as the financial risk of the proxy company. We do not need financial risk of the proxy company. So we will ungear the proxy beta equity and calculate beta asset. But if there are three proxy companies, so there will be three beta assets. Then what should we do? We will take the average of these three beta assets. So if there is more than one proxy company, then take average of all beta assets. So now we have calculated the overall beta asset. Regear this beta asset using your own gearing. In this example, we will regear this beta asset using the textile 
company gearing and once you have calculated the regeared beta beta equity we will put into the capm equation calculate cost of equity then we will put into the vac equation and calculate vac and that vac will be project specific cost of capital let's learn with the help of an example this company is planning to invest in a new project that is significantly different from its existing business companies finance 30% by debt and 70% by the equity it has identified three companies whose business operations are similar to the proposed investment so these are these three are the proxy companies the proxy companies equity beta is 0.81 debt equity ratio is given equity beta is 0.98 debt equity ratio is given equity beta is this debt and equity is given so now calculate the ungear beta of these companies receipt rate is given risk premium is given and tax rate is given we just need to calculate the project specific cost of equity so what is the first step calculate the beta asset of these companies the formula which is being used is equal to beta asset is equal to beta equity into equity divided by equity plus debt into 1 minus t okay now first step is to calculate the ungeared beta of these proxy company that is 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.663. Now take the average of these beta asset that is 0 0.655. And once we have calculated the average of these beta, now take the regeared beta. Now calculate the regeared beta by putting our own gearing ratio. Now how we will that calculate that using the same formula? Beta asset is given beta equity we have to calculate in our gearing is 70 divided by 70 plus 30 into 0.75 that is 0.865 now put this 865 into the capm equation now put this by putting this beta equity into the capm equation 4 percent history rate 0.865 is the beta equity into risk premium 9.2 percent is the cost of equity let's suppose if KD would have given, then we will use K and KD and the gearing ratio to calculate VAC. So that's how we're gonna calculate project specific discount rate. Another name of this is risk adjusted discount factor. So that was the main discussion. Thank you so much, guys.